you talk with teams, like what do you tell them like what you can bring to the team at the NBA level? I tell them I bring effort, I bring communication, I bring protecting the rim, and I'm gonna do whatever it takes to win. No matter if that's on offense or defense, I'm gonna dive on the floor. I'm gonna jump how I'm gonna jump how high to get a rebound. I'm gonna jump how high to catch a lob. I'm gonna guard whoever I need to guard, and I'm gonna shoot the three. I'm gonna space the floor to make sure that everybody can have their own room to breathe and have their own own room to work. And going back to the Magic, just what do you know about this situation in terms of team building, and just how would you see yourself fitting in with them? I think I'm, I think I'd fit in there very well. I know they did def- that they definitely need a rim protector. You know, someone to always back up Hollow. And I know that they're they're on a run and gun type of team, so they get a lot of fast breaks. So I know I can run the floor well. I know I could definitely be in a, a transition help. And of course, I'll just bring a lot of defensive uh, intensity and a lot of talk to their game. Pleasure. Pleasure. I think we just caught the tail end of you talking about you, you know Mark Williams. I know you didn't play with him at Duke, but is he somebody that's kind of helped you through this process, having just been through it a year ago? Uh, he, I've definitely spoken to him a couple times about it. You know, I've, I've, talk, I've spoken to a lot of people. I've spoken to him, I've spoken to Apollo, I've spoken to Jalen Dern. Spoken to a lot of either players who are already in the league or were in the league, and it's just talking about it's a leap of faith. You know, you, you never know where you're gonna go, you never know how it's gonna turn out, but you can only you can just sit here and pray. The only thing I can control is how hard I work and how hard, whenever I'm gonna get somewhere, is how hard I try, my, how much effort I try. One of the top offensive rebounders, shot blockers in the ACC. Are those the skill sets you see kind of translating immediately into the NBA to kind of get your foot in the door? I definitely would be a, a I definitely would bring a lot of shot blocking, a lot of rebounding, a lot of talk, effort and a lot of things on the defensive side. But I'm also going to bring a lot of things to the offensive side. When it comes to spacing the floor, I'm going to set screens. I can roll so you can throw it as high as you can, or I'm going to pop and spread the floor out to either get an open shot or to get my teammate an open bucket. Is this a process? I know you go to college and you kind of have a role there, but when you go through something like this, uh, you're able to do a little bit more and showcase a little bit more. Does that make this a little bit more exciting to kind of uh, expand your game and show what you can do a little bit more? It definitely does. You know, being able to be in this position kind of helps me just expand my game, you know? It's just, uh, I, count my, I consider myself a versatile player, so just being able to be in this position is kind of helpful, you know. I, I'm, I love playing at Duke. I love being able to, to have an effect and being able to do what I can to win. But as, as we go into the next step of the NBA draft, I'm just going to do whatever it takes to win.